Okay, we're back. So first thing we're going to do is add some guards to this mission. So I'm going to go to creature, animal, human, and add a guard. And we'll start with a swordsman. Put him in front of the door here for me. And we'll also add bowman. Create. Put him over here. And let's add one more. Um, how about female archer. We'll add her over here for me. Alright, so if we load the mission, Not again. we'll see the guards just stand there. To make them move around, we've got to add some markers, which are a new type, under F Nord, marker, patrol point. So let's create the patrol, add a marker here, clone, We'll add a marker over here. So to make the archer use this patrol, we got to do two things. First, on the archer, we're going to set the AI ability settings. Patrol does patrol. Okay, so he's close to this patrol point, so he's going to pick up where this one starts. But to make him patrol between the two markers, we need to add a link. And that would be AI patrol and we set it to the other marker. So now he will walk from 32 to 33. And to walk back, we need add AI patrol 33 to 32. Now, when we load the mission, we'll see the guard start to walk across. All right, let's add a little bit more. So for the female archer, we will add some more patrols around the house. I'm going to add one here, clone, right here, clone, one here, clone, one here. So let's see, that's 37, 34. Okay, so we're starting at 34, so we need to link all these together. So AI patrol from 34 to 35, from 35 to 36. From 36 to 37. And from 37. No. 37. Back to 34. All right, let's load. Oh, yes. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, the guard needs to have the patrol property. Let's put her right here, properties, add, AI, ability, patrol does patrol. Okay, one thing I want to show for the demo is how to make a guard sit down. So with this guard, we will make him sit by adding a new type of property. So we go to a meta property, AI behavior. AIB gen and sitting down. So once we add that, the guard will change to a seating position. So we need them to sit in something. So what we can do is go to the object hierarchy, uh, find furniture, a chair, and a wooden chair. Create the wooden chair, floor it. And by default, a guard will simply sink through a chair. So what we need to do is add a property to the chair to fix that. Under physics, miscellaneous, AI collides with. So we'll check that box. And now the AI will collide with the chair. So let's position ourselves and take a look. And the guard is sitting. Over there. Now the chair needs to be fixed. We'll move it 90 degrees and the guard is sitting on it. Move the guard a little back. There we go. All right, that's good. Okay, now that we're going to be editing the rest of the mission, let's turn off the AI by setting AI sleep all. Now the guards will not do anything while I'm editing the rest of the level. Okay, now let's add some objects in the house. Um, let's do 
furniture. We'll do table, create, add a table, change it 90 degrees. We'll also add bed, bunk, create. We'll position that here, floor me, and floor me. And what I want to do actually is take this light and move it back on this side of the house. I'm going to turn this around 90 degrees and put it on this wall. So another thing I want is some loop. So I'm going to put a container to hold it and we'll do a um, money box. Put that on the table. Drag it down like so. We'll position this 90 degrees and now we can put something inside. And let's get actually a quest item like treasure. Um, actually not treasure, a quest item. Uh, let's do something that can fit like uh, keeper metal. So what I can do is put that next to it, check the number, it's 42, and add a link. So let's add a link to contain 42. All right, now inside that box will be the medallion. All right, so with the lights, we need to actually adjust their properties so that the lighting doesn't actually render as far as infinite. So what we're going to do is set the max radius to 15 and the inner radius to 10. What that does is the light will only go 15 units away from this source, but at 10 it will start to fade. So on this side I'll be dark in the house which is what I want. All right, and also we'll adjust the outside lights to have radius. So on this one, we'll go radius 40 and it'll start to dim from full brightness at 30. And for the street light, we will fix the radius to 60 and the inner radius, it'll start to dim at 50. So now we portalize and done. All right, next we really need to add a door and window to the house. So let's go to physical, terrain like, door, a spinny door, four by eight. And we'll pick a reinforced wooden door. Let's place it right here. It's in the wrong position. So we'll go 90 degrees for me and we'll line it up with this brush, negative 40.5 and we gotta do 9.5. There's our door. Now we can do our window, object hierarchy, physical, terrain, uh, windows. We need a transparent window. Um, this one has the grid on it. It's incorrectly sized. So what I need to show is to rescale an object, you go to shape, scale under its properties, and we'll make the Z axis 0.5 to fit it into a four by four space. So here it is lined up. To line it up perfectly, we can go negative 1.5 and negative 30. 6.5. Now we have a door and a window and instead of just having this door open what we can do is um, lock it. So let's go to properties and add engine features locked is true. Check that off and we need to make it lock pickable. So um, what we can do is put the pick config. So 
To make a lock a door lock pickable, we need to select two different lock picks. One is one zero and one is zero one. That'll correspond to your two different picks. Now the pins is how long it takes to open it. So it'll take two pins to start and one pin to finish on the other pick. All right, and then all we do is test the lock picks. One pin, two pins, and another pick for the last pin. Okay, the next thing we'll lock is this money box. So we'll go to properties, add, engine features, locked, true. And instead of making this lock pickable, what we'll do is um, make it require a key. So this is gonna be the destination. Now in the key destination, uh, the region mask is the area of the level you want this key, this lock ID to be in. And the lock ID is the incremental value of the key that opens it. So really you could just get away with lock ID, but you, if you had a lot of different areas of your mission, you may want to go like one through in number of locks in a particular region to make them belong to different areas of the level. Okay, so let's add a key. Go to key or park, key, key one, and we'll create it right here. And that's 45, so we want the guard to contain a link, to a contains link to the key, 45. And on that guard, we want it to be on his belt. All right, so now it's gonna be on the guard's belt. Let's go to the properties of the key and set the key source to the same region and lock ID. So it opens the money box. And also we want in the inventory an object name. So name key one, will be money box key. That way if you have a lot of keys, you know which one it is. Let's go to the game and try it out. There we go. Okay, so let's check out the state of the level so far. I'm gonna actually move the starting point back here and we will turn on the AI and toggle the lighting and take a look at what we've got. here and the guards walking around and we can take out the light for some cover you hear something over there oh nice <laughs> they got alerted we'll see if we can fix that <laughs> 